Hey, this is Forrest Poston at uh, WVU Football Going Deep. Our special guest today is Bob, uh, who has a message for all the West Virginia fans out there. Pardon me if I do the speaking for him. <laughs> As some of you know, Bob is coming through a very rough stretch. Uh, <laughs> At least three times in the last three weeks. Uh, well, he really should, shouldn't have made it. But, he's here. He's getting better. Maybe still have issues, but... <laughs> now, what you don't know is that uh, before... Uh, he came to live with us. Bob was born in West Virginia. He is a born and bred mountaineer. And you don't, by God, count a mountaineer out. So for those of you who've been moaning and groaning, doom and gloom all week long, well, I probably can't say it because YouTube would be very unhappy with me. <laughs> but do not count this Mountaineer team out. Now, this week's video is actually a Sunday questions video uh, where I ask the questions today that I think I would ask on Sunday if I hadn't seen the game. <laughs> I know, it's weird. That's me. I hang around with cats. Uh, so this is the Albany game. In some respects, people would usually not consider it a very important game, but it is. It is uh, a get-right game where the team has to find their rhythm, their timing, just get their head straight after what happened with Penn State and not overcompensate. They just have to play. Have to play with intensity and control. Uh, yeah, discipline. So the first question is, <laughs> did they get right? <laughs> did they play Sharp, smooth, fun football. And if they do that, you know, everything else should fall into place. Other big question is really with a game like this, who is going to play? Or who's going to play how long? I would expect Garrett Green to play the entire first half. If he's sharp, or if he's sharp by the end of the first half, that good chance that'll be all. If he's not sharp, he'll probably play a little into the third quarter. I think we'll see a lot of Nico Marchiol and a lot of Ryder Burton. Burton may play the entire fourth quarter. I don't know if they'll try to get Wilkins in or not. They may want to give him a few plays if they can. Uh, of course, he didn't come in early, so he may not be ready. Uh, we'll probably see more of Farmer than we did last week, although still a fairly limited amount. Uh, might see Brandon Raymond at receiver. That's one I am particularly curious about. Uh, Raymond is a ready receiver. Now, he's not necessarily a needed receiver this year, but I do think they'll want to get him some reps to give him a taste of power four level football. Um... I would expect to see both Dunbar and Hubbard at running back. Might see them quite a bit, maybe the entire second half. 
Um, maybe before the second half. A bit of a quick. Will we see Clay Ash? I think we might. I don't think we'll see uh, Judah Price. And I suspect this will be his last year at West Virginia. Uh, if they make that 105 roster limit firm, their scholarship limit, whatever, uh, guys like Price aren't good enough to get scholarship. In another year, maybe he would be, but we're bringing in such good running backs, he's just not going to get playing time anyway. And the walk-in program is going to seriously shrink, if not disappear. And I would expect Price to go someplace else. Um, do expect, you know, they'll try to get uh, Gallagher more involved on both offense and defense. Uh, he got he, play, he played more than I expected against Penn State. Uh, didn't do badly, didn't do great, uh, didn't have many opportunities to do great. Um, now, of course, you know, flipping back a bit to the getting right, I would expect them to run a lot of the timing motion plays that went so badly against Penn State. I think they'll, they'll want to get that to where everybody just feels confident in game situations. They did it well in practice. They, you know, it wasn't a problem. Head got screwed in the game. Too much hype, too much adrenaline, even if they didn't realize it. Too much effort in some respects. And threw things off. Now you worry about it. And that throws things off. So they have to do some of these things in a game setting so that they're not wondering, is it going to go wrong? Because if you worry about it going wrong, that makes it go wrong. Got to get that natural confidence back where you just trust each other in so many ways. On defense, uh, not sure how much different we will see. We're already rotating a lot the defensive line. That will continue. Um, I want to see if they bring more pressure. I, I think I understand now Leslie's reasons for not bringing pressure early. Uh but I do hope they will bring a good bit of pressure uh, continuously in this game. Um, I think I, we'll probably see a little more rotation at corner, get some of the newer guys more experience. Don't know if we'll see any significant differences in who starts and who the two deep are. We might, one or two. Um, no. Jennings did not play much, if at all, in the Penn State game, so he'll be in. Might see Jason Cross some at safety. That will be one of the questions. I know, you know, there's two or three guys ahead of him. I mean, you know, not counting the starters. Uh, he would be like four deep or something. But I think they do want to get him a taste. I think we'll see Israel Boyce. Uh, Boyce, we may see some through the season. But the biggest, biggest, biggest thing is do they just play a sharp, confident game? Do they get back to playing football 
each guy doing their job, not trying to do it too fast, not trying to jump uh, over somebody else's job because they think they see something. They overplayed. And overplayed means overpaid. Uh, Penn State will make you pay for that every time. Albany is going to be able to take advantage of it a lot if they overplay. Just got to be straight up, do your job, know your assignment, football. Um, <laughs> Well, now, this part I'm going to have to cut back in someplace in the video since I didn't put it in the middle where I intended. Uh, please subscribe, share, click the thumbs up button, make comments, click the notification bell, and tell your friends that this is WVU Football Going Deep. I am Forrest Poston. Bob is a mountaineer. Hey, so am I. But Bob, <laughs> Bob says, never quit on a mountaineer. Thank you, guys. Uh, I am planning to do a video uh, by suggestion about the <laughs> upcoming system for picking teams in the 12-team playoff. I think I understand the basics uh, have not found where they explain some of the complications. But I'll see what I can do to make some sense of that. I didn't realize that there was some lack of clarity. I was making some assumptions I think other people are making as well. So we'll get to that. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for asking about Bob. So long.